NBC5 investigates. Imagine getting sick from a nut allergy on a cross-country flight. A Chicago area college student says it happened to her, and now she's trying to change the law to require airlines to carry life-saving drugs. Here's NBC5's Phil Rogers. Meet Alexa Jordan. She's a sophomore at Harvard University, and she's allergic to nuts that grow on trees. Even the smallest amount, I can have a fatal reaction. Flying home to Chicago last month, Alexa bit into a salad she bought at the Boston airport. It was not supposed to have nuts, but almost immediately she started getting sick. My throat was feeling tight, and it was getting dif very difficult to breathe. She asked the Southwest Airlines flight attendant if they had Benadryl, which can alleviate the symptoms, and was told no. She had one EpiPen, but knew she might need a second one. As she asked if they had one, but was told they did not. Really, I was terrified. I was going into anaphylaxis 35,000 feet in the air. It's truly like the worst nightmare to be locked in a metal tube. Alexa says she went into the restroom and jabbed herself with her one EpiPen, and a flight attendant did ask if she was okay, but that they then told her to lock the door, something she thought was odd if she passed out. I sat in terror thinking that I could die on this bathroom floor. She insists she never heard the crew ask if a doctor was aboard and spent the rest of the flight in that bathroom with no one checking to see if she was okay. An hour and a half, hour 45. The FAA does not require airlines to carry EpiPens, but in their onboard emergency medical kits, they are required to stock epinephrine vials to be injected with a syringe. Southwest insisted in an email that the crew did check on Alexa, that they did offer to call for a medical professional, and that they did offer her an EpiPen, but she declined those offers. They did not. They did not even tell me that there was epinephrine on the plane. Four years ago, Senator Mark Kirk introduced a bill to require auto injectors on airliners and to require crew training on how to administer them. That went nowhere. So Alexa has put together an online petition to revive the bill and pass it into law. And already over 12,000 people have signed on. If I can help make a change, this is truly where it needs to happen. Auto injectors need to be on planes. In a subsequent email, Southwest conceded to us they do not stock auto injectors on their airplanes after all. Only the injectable version of epinephrine, which comes in vials and requires a syringe. And those, they say, do require the oversight of a medical professional. Dick? Maybe changes in the making. Thank you, Phil.